all right so we have you know the basic stub here with the event form event add form uh, and now we will work on this you know this loca event location component so that we can start displaying the google map and you know, we'll, we are able to select the appropriate location so let's see we will need a data and in that we will return an object which has location okay and in that location we will have lat which is 19 point let's say 06 five two three six don't be worried i haven't you know re i don't remember it i'm just typing it from the notes which i have taken and the longitude will be 72 5742 okay so that is going to be the default location on which the marker will be okay and the default marker which is only one marker is going to be added position think i don't remember uh require this we'll see uh so we'll have this object and then we will need two methods so let me add that as well so this is data what are the two methods we need a set place method okay and one marker drag method okay and i'll pass the position in here um so these are the two you know, events which we, i mean methods which will require and i'll tell you why so let's say we have a label and in that we'll have div okay um so the first thing which we are going to do is we will use the gmap autocomplete okay uh, so that we can get the places drop down okay so gmap auto complete uh, we'll have at place changed this is an event which we get we will call our set place function okay that's why we created that and we have this already right we have all the events from google uh, components from google maps so this will be available if i'm not wrong let us save and check yes we do yeah so we are getting everything um oops all right um and then we will have inside the same div a gmap component okay there are certain parameters which we will need to pass so we'll say center and then we will pass the location object okay we will need to set a zoom let me see if i have all the you know uh attributes in here yeah what i'll do is i'll just no this is g map marker okay just leave it we will do it one by one so we have the center we have the location um style okay equals let's say width is 500 pixels okay and my height is going to be 300 pixels so this is the g map and inside the g map we will have our marker okay i think i can copy that uh, he is doing a v4 i don't think i'll need that v4 so i'll need the 
position so the position is going to be directly the location um, I don't need the key I don't need the v4 so I can get rid of that position is there clickable is true draggable is true at click I will do center equals location okay and then at the rate place changed I will do um, set place okay so if my marker uh, is changing I'll have to set the place again and if I have position changed okay in that case I'll do marker drag and I'll pass dollar event okay so this is basically going to handle when I am you know, moving around my marker okay um, and then how do we pass the value into PHP so you know, if you have seen I am going to load this as a normal you know component inside the blade file so if I can do something like input a hidden variable name let and v model is going to be location dot let similarly lng and this is going to be lng as well so let's see if it works um in here oops return request all okay are we getting the map okay something is wrong uh, gmap did, did you register the component correctly uh, okay that's a little strange um so what could be the reason let's see inside my app.js i have done view use and so i'm using this which is fine i don't think there is any problem in here and so what is the problem gmap is not registered um I didn't I don't need to call it if I have done it globally All right so that's a little odd hold on let me let me just check that and I will get back all right I think the problem is uh, the component name is gmap map let me see I'll build yeah so we have the location let's say we add something else um, okay I'll select Nashik Nashik is there and oh sorry we, ha we haven't handled the events and I'm expecting them to work so my bad so set place will also get the place okay um, okay we'll expect that and what we will do is we'll say this dot location is going to be get the place object and in that we'll have something called geometry okay this is the typical google object which is provided when um, we get the lat long so if you want i can just show you quickly console.log place and let us refresh hit this okay I haven't done it so that's an error but you see there is an object called geometry and inside geometry we have location okay and then we have a method for you know getting the latitude and the longitude so that's what we are going to do so we'll got the latitude and then LNG that is going to be 
lng right yeah so we get this okay and similarly we'll take this and in here we we'll paste this and just change this from place to position and that's about it i think yeah let me see so if i property location undefined hmm. view component marker drag is it so let's see what is the object in here um oh sorry the position i think directly will give us the lat long objects sorry so console dot log refresh uh, let us now move it yeah it is directly giving it so position and this should work yeah it does so i can you know set it i'll have some details in here description and if i post it so you can see i'm getting the lat long as well and all those information is being captured so what that means now i can first of all get rid of rid of these consoles in my controller get rid of that return and we have a proper set so why don't we do this we'll create a dummy event for testing address is some place on earth the date will be or is today's date today's fourth right so let's say fifth 7 2017 and the end date will be 7 7 2017 i'll just save time okay and pick up a location okay and we'll just zoom in a bit and put it somewhere here and save whoops uh unknown column lng okay um let me see the migration and the controller as well so i think uh the migration has a different field and i'm doing something else okay so this is long so that's why i want as much um you know convention to be followed as possible so what happens is i won't get confused and these errors won't occur all right i think it got created now yes so i just changed it and i hit refresh and so uh, let's see api was called multiple times okay that's something which i need to fix i think the callback is on every page if i'm not wrong let's see this is footer script uh, event add doesn't have a footer script so why the google maps is coming twice yeah because i think what is happening is inside html i have this Hmm, where is the JS file coming from? Um, ah, yes. So, because this is uh, inside the view app, I think what is happening is the view, it's the event dash view which is you know, picking it up 
yeah and i'm already loading the app.js so you know what is going what is happening is i'm initiating this and as well as the view.js with the library is doing it so i'll have to handle that um okay let's see how we can do that but for now the map is rendering so yeah we have it i'll just show you once again you know because we had an error that the form is working correctly so we'll have one more event and let's say this is somewhere in delhi okay 9 7 2017 10 7 2017 and okay so i still have the text let's say delhi um, and we save so once we go there in our dummy event one one more event so yeah this is the sorting order is not correct we can quickly fix that uh, inside events which one do we want at first actually no i think it is uh, this order is correct first this event is going to happen so i'll have it here and then this event is going to happen and these are the past events so that's fine so yeah that's about creating the you know add event form with google maps okay um yeah i'll come up with new videos on some of the functionalities as well and yeah i'll have to fix uh the problem of you know loading the google maps on every page i'll quickly try and fix that as um, i think one option will be um, i think instead of using it here import as and then this we can do it inside the component and that should work try and solve that in the next video and i will i will post that as a small quick fix video so yeah till that time stay tuned if you like the videos do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel